Sorry, is there were um wow, there was just quite a few surprises that happened yesterday. A little bit of good. One good and one bad and one ugly. It's, which is actually the name of an old really good western from the Dodge Trilogy. That, oh, that, sorry. Where on earth are my manners? Happy Friday, everybody! Yep, we are at Friday now. And I am so excited the weekend is here. And now I just gotta get through the rest of today. And we'll be all set and ready to go. Which is always a very, very, very good thing. You know, I mentioned the good, the bad, the ugly, which, for those of you who may or may not know, it's actually the name of a very, very, very good movie. But what people don't realize is the good and the bad, the ugly, is actually part of a movie trilogy. Yeah, it is. It's actually called the, um, Dollars Trilogy. Where, um... It, they all three movies were directed by Sergio Leone and starred Clint Eastwood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting fact about Clint Eastwood: he's known for being like in a, in a lot of those cowboy movies. He's actually allergic to horses. I don't know. I thought that was really kind of interesting and, in a way, rather ironic. Oh, and um, see, the Dollar Trilogy consists of a fistful of dollars. For a few dollars more, and the good, the bad, the ugly. And it's one of the greatest trilogies ever made. It is. I haven't seen for a few dollars more, but I have seen A Fistful of Dollars and the good, the bad, the ugly. So while I haven't seen for a few dollars more, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that that movie's good too. Maybe one day I'll get around to watching that, I suppose. But, um, I say the good, the bad, the ugly, because again, one good thing happened, one bad thing happened, and one ugly thing happened. Rather than say the good, the bad, the ugly in that order, I think it would be most prudent to say I should probably do it in reverse, just to, um, make sure that... This video really ends on a high note. Because, honestly, no matter what, I'm sure this video is going to find you some entertainment. I don't know. I can't read your thoughts, then not to mention you see me, I cannot see you. So, with that said, let's get to the ugly. How in the... How did the Eagles win? How on earth did the Eagles win? I mean... I only stuck around for the first half, but the Falcons pretty much had their number. Man. Am I really going to have to live in... It's bad enough I live in a universe where the Eagles have won the Super Bowl. It's bad enough I had to hear it from anyone who was an Eagles fan just how great it was. And the thing of it is, in terms of etiquette and, you know, just overall mannerisms... Eagles fans are actually known to be the worst. You know, say we have one about the Cowboys and Dallas Cowboys fans, but at least we're subtle. You know, we cheer for a little bit, we say, how about them Cowboys, and then we move on. That is just what we do. You know, that doesn't take much, you don't need much, that's just how it is. So, great. The season has just officially started, which, hooray, the NFL season started, hooray. Why did it have to start on that? Why? Uh, well, don't worry, the Dallas Cowboys will put the Eagles in their place and the rifle order will be restored. That's exactly what's going to happen, I guarantee it. So, yeah, there is that. Now we get to the bad. Yesterday, we actually lost 
a very, very, very good actor. He did. And it stinks. That actor was Burt Reynolds. Now, for those of you who are too young to know, or or those who wouldn't know, Burt Reynolds was actually a really good actor. He never won any Oscars, and the and don't get me wrong, every actor has been in a bad movie at some point in his life, but Burt Reynolds was a very, very, very good actor. He was in movies like Deliverance, Smokey and the Bandit movies, The Longest Yard, the original one. And he actually appeared in the remake with Adam Sandler, which I actually find to be kind of underrated. I said this before in my videos. Basically, when he showed up in the Longest Yard remake, that was basically him giving the movie his blessing, which... It's always a very, very, very beautiful thing. And, oh, Burt Reynolds also guest appeared in Archer as himself. Yeah. It was funny because, um, I remember that episode quite vividly where Archer is trying to convince that, uh, convince Burt Reynolds that he made a sequel to Gator when Gator itself is already a sequel, but it would become a trilogy if the, there was a sequel to Gator. All I can say is... Ah, uh, what are the name of those boats again? Why can't I not remember the name of those boats? Um... They're not hover boats. Swamp boats? I think. Or fan boats? Man... Why can't I remember what they're called? Oh, the, the the point is, that was actually a really good episode of Virgin. Burt Reynolds was a really classy guy. So classy, and, so classy, in fact, that there'd be old Bugs Bunny cartoons where Bugs would say, eat your heart out, Burt Reynolds. So, yeah. You have one of the greatest cartoon characters of all time trying to diss you, then you know you're doing a good job. Well, diss you in a positive way because honestly cartoons were always made to promote positivity in some light which is always a very very beautiful thing I of course always believe that myself and therefore I continue to believe it to this day now we got past the ugly and we got past the bad you guys are all probably wondering what on earth is the good gonna be well, as you guys all well know, a week ago, Hot Ones just wrapped up their season six, season six. The episode that was with Jeff Goldblum last year, uh, last week, which uh, if uh, you uh, remember, uh, I uh, did this before uh, the video uh, began, that was... That was him. That was what he was known for. He he actually did that a lot in Jurassic Park. That's why it made him famous. It, at the time, it was actually a very charming performance, but now it's become more of an internet meme slash joke, which I gotta say, he has taken that sort of thing in stride, so way to go, dude. So, it was really surprising when... We get to, sorry, there's some in my eye. Sorry about that. Ah, what is in my eye? When we get to the end of season six, I'm going to find out that there's actually one episode left to go. Which completely and utterly blew me by surprise. And you're going to watch the video anyway. At least I hope you do, because I am going to be putting a link in the descriptions. But, what happened is the guest was Eddie Wong. He's a, a food-related celebrity, restaurateur, 
owns a whole bunch of restaurants, all that stuff. He's actually really popular and really cool. This episode was actually really, really special. It was actually an episode of Redemption for him. See, he was actually on Hot Ones a long time ago before. See, the way Hot Ones works, ladies and gentlemen, is you eat 10 wings. And you all know wings are the hors d'oeuvre of my full course menu of life. As such, each wing, there's a, diff there's a set amount of heat to it. But it builds up over time as you eat more of them, up to 10. The last time Eddie Wong was on Hot Ones, he immediately went for the highest wing on the plate. So, number 10. And he really paid the price for it. See, if you do that, the highest wing first, and then you have the other wings... What's going to happen is you're only going to get yourself into a giant pickle in terms of just how hot everything is. And it's just going to keep building and building and, and it's just going to stay there and as you add more, I guess, fuel the fire, if you will. To, no pun intended. Actually, you know what? Yeah, pun intended because I love puns. With that said, however... When you do it the usual way, or the traditional way, you build up the heat. So, during the point where Sean Evans is asking you the question, you at least have the, some time to recover, gather your thoughts, and then move on till, to the next hot swing. <laughs> Excuse me. So, when you have the hot swing on the, paddle, on the paddle, there is going to be a problem. A very big problem. But, yeah. Eddie Wong came back. And while he did have to handle a lot of heat this time, he actually handled it quite well. In fact, he redeemed himself from the last time he was on the show. And that's why I call it the good. Because in life, you don't get second chances very often. Sometimes people live with regret for the rest of their lives. But when you do, and you actually try to move forward in life, second chances really come a lot more often than you think. So, yeah. It, uh... It was really good overall. And I'm really happy for Eddie Wong. And I think the Hot Ones community is happy for him as well. Just like I'm always happy to make these videos for you guys. So like, favorite, share, and hit that subscribe button. I could really use the support on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as always, I am most humbled that I made this video for all of you to watch and enjoy for today. I am hopeful that we all have a wonderful Friday and therefore get a very fantastic kickstart to this otherwise hopefully very good weekend. And always remember, if any of you guys ever want to talk or chat, I will always be here to lend an ear and I will always have your back. Take care, everybody, and happy Friday.